Hello. We'll continue today with our baptismal promises. Uh, in these great 50 days of Easter, as I mentioned, which begins on Easter Day, I invite you to continue in learning and prayer to deepen your awareness of the Holy Spirit guiding you in every aspect of your life and decisions. On Easter Day, we reaffirmed our commitment to Christ in the words of the baptismal covenant. And so over the next few weeks, I invite you to sit in silence each day to listen for God's voice speaking to you through the Holy Spirit as you reflect on each of the aspects of the baptismal covenant and discern for yourself how it is that you will live out that aspect of the baptismal covenant in your life and maybe discern new ways that God is calling you to live out that particular baptismal covenant. So I'll read one of the promises again this week and then we'll sit together for one minute in silence. I invite you to sit each day for one or five minutes uh, in silence to listen for the Holy Spirit of God speaking to you and helping you to discern how to live out this particular baptismal promise in your life. Sometimes making a promise can feel a little overwhelming, but let's remember that our response to all of these requests is, I will with God's help. I will with God's help. We make this commitment praying that God will help us to fulfill this commitment in a way that spreads the love and life of God in the world. And so here's this week's promise. Will you persevere in resisting evil? And whenever you fall into sin, repent and return to the Lord. And we boldly respond, I will, with God's help. Like when we make our collective confession most Sundays and then receive forgiveness, this particular baptismal promise may feel like the one that we don't need to do much work with. As we sit and reflect, we may find it hard to identify any sins or faults that, that we need to work on. Where are these in our life? I find that the phrase, I find that the last phrase of this promise, which is repent and return to the Lord, to be most helpful when trying to think on which things I need to work and for that which I need forgiveness. Repent and return to the Lord. Perhaps a question like this would be most helpful, something like this. What in my life is distracting me from following God's way? Or, what personal desires do I seek to fulfill before I fulfill God's will? Of course, this requires more time on prayer and discernment to know God's will for me and for each of us. I'll read the baptismal promise one more time, and then I invite you to sit with me in silent prayer for, for one minute to begin to reflect on how you fulfill this promise or discern how you will fulfill this promise as you grow in faith each day. Our time of silence will begin and end with a chime. Here's the promise again for our silent reflection. Will you persevere in resisting evil, and whenever you fall into sin, repent and return to the Lord?
May God help us each day in our vocation as followers of Jesus Christ. Amen.